in step number 3 I want to find the stiffness matrix of any ith member. So, let us do it for k a b if you want to do it for k a b k a b has 3 i and the span is 6 meters ok. Let us say what is 4 e i by L for this which is going to be 4 e into 3 i by 6 meters ok. This distance is 6 meters and this distance is 4 meters and this distance is 2 meters ok and this distance is 3 meters right. So, L is 6 meters. So, that becomes 2 E i and 2 E i by L will be half of that which is simply E i. Similarly, required for span B C we need to also find the E i is 2 i in this case and the span of B C is 4 meters. Therefore, 4 E i by L for this problem could be 4 E into 2 i by 4 which is 2 E i and 2 E i by L is actually E i is it not this is E i. Let us do this for K C D. So, K C D again has 2 i and the span of C D is 3 meters. Therefore, the rotational coefficient 4 E i by L could be 4 E into 2 i by 3 which is 2.667 and 2 E i by L will be half of this which is 1.333. Let us do this for K D E. In this case, the E i value actually is 6 E i and the span is 2 meters. Therefore, 4 E i by L of this span would be 4 E into 6 i by 2 which is going to be 12 E i and 2 E i by L will be half of that which is 6 E i that is the rotational coefficient for the member D E. Let us do this for E f here E i is going to be 10 E i and the span is going to be 3 meters. Therefore, 4 E i by L would be 4 E into 10 i by 3 which is going to be 13.333 E i and 2 E i by L is going to be half of that which is 6.667 E i. Okay. So, now we have the rotational coefficients for K A B, K B C, E i again, C D, D E and E f. Okay. So, we can now write the stiffness coefficient on the stiffness matrix for the member k a b for a general member k i we should say E i of the rotational coefficients E i by L 2 E i by L. Generally, this is 2 E i by L this is 4 E i by L. Once I have this the sum of these two by L that is 6 E i by L square minus 6 E i by L square. Similarly, sum of these two by L which will be 6 E i by L square minus 6 E i by L square. Similarly, sum of these two by L again. So, 
6 e i by l square sum of these two which is 6 e i by l square then sum of these two 12 e i by l q minus 12 e i by l q. The last column will be the minus of the third column which is minus 6 e i by l square minus 6 e i by l square minus 12 e i by l q 12 e i by l q. Use this now for every member and write down the stiffness matrix. Let us do it for k a b faster k a b is going to be e i times of what are the labels of a b? We already said the labels of a b could be 1 8 5 9. Let us do that labels here 1 8 5 9. So, two rotations and then translations that is the order okay. 1 8 5 and 9 rotations and then translations. So, in that case we already know the rotation coefficient of a b is 2 and 1. Okay. Let us do that here. So, 2 1 point 0.5 minus point 0.5. So, 2 1 point 0.5 minus point 0.5. So, point 0.5 point 0.5 point 167 minus point 0.167. So, minus point 0.5 minus point 0.5 minus point 0.167 point 0.167 okay. k a b. Similarly, I can do for k b c which is e i times of. So, let us see what are the labels of b c. b c labels are rotations and translations 1 2 10 6 and b c values are 2 e i in e i. Okay. So, let us do that here 1 2 10 6. So, 1 2 10 6 the values are 2 point 0 1 point 0 point 0.5 point 0.75 point minus point 0.75 2 1 point 0.75 minus point 0.75 point 0.75 point 0.375 point 375 and 3.75 negative minus point 0.75 point 0.75 3.75 and 3.75 this KBC Let us do it for k c d is again going to be e i times of c d labels are 2 3 5 7. So, 2 3 5 7 And the values for KCD is 2.667, minus 1.333, one Point eight eight nine minus point eight eight nine. So, this is going to be the negative of the third column. So, we now obtain K C D with the labels. Okay. Let us now do K D E, which is again E I times of if you look at the labels of d e they are going to be 3 4 6 and 13 
the values are going to be 12, 6, 9 and minus 9. I get KDE. Let us do for last span KEF which is also going to be EA times of. I want you to label the <coughs> degrees of freedom of KEF. Two rotations and two translations of so 4, 11, 7, 12. Okay? <coughs> so, 4, 11, 7, 12, 4, 11, 7, 12, the values are 13.333, 6.667, the remaining can be obtained as we have just now explained. Let us write down this matrix. The fourth column is actually the negative of the third column. Now, we have the stiffness matrix of A B, B C, C D, D E and E F 5 members. Okay? We want to combine them and then form the stiffness matrix which is unrestrained degree. So, can you tell me how many unrestrained degrees are there in this problem? So, go back to the figure. Unrestrained degrees are about 7. Okay? So, the k u u matrix will be square of size 7 by 7. Okay? So, let us say this is going to be 7 by 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, pick up the values of these rows and columns from all the matrices and then enter the values. If you try to do that exercise, I am entering the values here you can please check. Okay? So, 4.0, 1 0, 1.0, 0 0.5, minus 0 0.75, 1.0, 4.667, 1.333, 1.333, 0 0.75, minus 1.333 and the third row will be, I will enter it here 0, 1 1.333, 14.667, 6.0, 1.333, 9.0, minus 1.333, fourth will be 0, 0, 6.0, 0, 25.333, 0, 9.0, 6.667, fifth row values will be 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 0.5, 1.333, 
minus 1.333, minus 1.333, 6.667, minus 0 0.889 0 5.334. I get k u u which is nothing but choosing the values of these for example, k 1 1 okay, this value will be obtained from how can you check this it is very easy. Please see the labels k 1 1 or anything related to 1 can be obtained from 2 matrices one is this matrix because there is one here other is this matrix okay because there is one here okay let us go to this matrix kba okay let us search for one one so i get this let us write down the value so 2.0 okay one one then let us go to this value again 2.0 so we have 2.0 and 2.0 which will ultimately become 4. Okay. So, that is how one can check all the values chosen from these matrices and get KUU. Once I get KUU, then I have to go for the fixed 10 moments okay, of all the members. Let us look at the loading diagram of this problem. the members do not have any load only the loads are the joints. So, I can directly write the joint loads directly let us copy this figure okay. let us copy this and put it here. So, the joint load vector will be let us say there is no load on T 1 0 1. So, let us say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 30 okay. the 13 degrees of freedom. So, no load on 1 0 no load on 2 you can see here 0 and at 3 there is no moment so 0 at 4 no moment 0 at 5 which is the translation there is a force okay so plus 20 okay then 6 there is a load which is down so minus 30 okay and 7 is translational no load 0 8 no load 9 and 10 again no load, 11 no load, 12 and 13 no load that becomes my joint load vector. So, out of which the unrestrained degrees of freedom are 7 in number. So, I will partition this matrix at 7. Okay. So, this becomes J L U and this becomes J L R. So, I want to write the JLU separately, I can write JLU, once I get JLU KUU of delta U is JLU. So, I can find delta U as KUU inverse of JLU, once I get delta U I can apply this equation. and solve for m i that is m a b, m b c, m c d, m d e and m e f. Okay, I can solve these values and check the moment. So, I am leaving the solution to you because of a simple reason k u u as you see here is a 7 by 7 matrix. So, you need to invert this matrix. So, I will give you a computer program using MATLAB which can invert this matrix and then solve. In the meantime, you can also try and try to solve this problem and check. So, friends, we have discussed and mostly completed the discussion on stiffness method of analysis okay, for planar 
orthogonal members. We found the system or the method used is highly generic and I should say it is simple easily programmable. Okay. We have shown three examples to solve the problem and understand. I hope you have realized and understood and enjoyed the method. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the stiffness method applied to planar non-orthogonal members. Thank you very much. Thank you.